don't know about y'all, but I love LARPing around in my play carrier. Longtime fans of the Minuteman moment will remember that. With all these politicians coming to restrict your rights, some people are trying to ban body armor. Let's take a quick listen to GOA's board of director member and executive director of Gun Owners California testify against California's latest body armor bans. Uh, but I want you to understand, and, and I hope that everybody will pay attention and see that this is what you're thinking about when you are thinking about ar body armor. When they are, a criminal is out there with a vest and they've got all the magazines, that isn't body armor, that's ballistic nylon and it's misnamed. It doesn't stop anything. And all of a sudden, boom, he's wearing body armor. This is the body armor that is used by my grandchildren. Because here in California, where we have the most gun control laws of any state in the union, we also have the dubious honor of having more mass shootings than any other state, far surpassing those of Texas that doesn't have all of the gun control laws. These backpacks, Parents, hundreds of thousands of parents throughout the state of California have chosen to use products like this uh, Premier Body Armor panel in the horrible event that children might experience a school shooting and they have at least some level of protection. This will stop any shotgun blast and any caliber of handgun. My grandchildren are worth it. Body Armor people contacted me to please let you know what the truth is. How about students and even maybe some of your staff members this is body armor, by all definitions. I choose to carry my laptop, my, my iPad. I choose to carry it with me. Provides protection up to and including a 308, something far surpassing your so-called California assault, assault weapons. And I can protect my life with this. Students in college, where they are in gun-free zones, where they are in, in um, the criminals believe a target-rich environment. These bills will strip them of the ability to do that. We have talked about the constitutionality, how there are now four Supreme Court precedents that state that items like body armor, uh, that, that uh, under the protection of the Second Amendment, it does not have to be a gun. It can be anything that is used by lawful citizens in common use to defend or off offensive purposes for protection. That's the law of the land. Now, we have a body of laws that when somebody breaks the law, we, and they are incarcerated, they oftentimes don't make a lot of friends in prison. And when they come out, they might not have a whole lot of friends. But when we let them out, we deny them, we prevent them from protecting themselves with guns, knives, belly clubs, of anything. They can't protect themselves. And now we're saying, you know what? Thank you for serving. Uh, paying your debt to society, you can go out there and even though you have a bunch of non-friends out there, you can't even protect your life with a piece of body armor that is this simple and this concealable and this effective. And we're telling that to people who have paid their debt to society or they've been let out early for whatever policy reason this, this body chooses to do. You let them out. But then you go out there and say, Good luck. Good luck. I, I, would, I would ask you to think carefully about, uh, about this process. We don't oppose any laws that say if you use body armor while you are committing a crime, you're going to get whacked by the state. We're okay with that. And I don't mean shot. I mean you're going to be charged. You're going to be incarcerated. It is an additional crime, and you should pay the penalty for that. But um, these items, I'll tell you what, uh, although thankfully this bill was amended, uh, parents may not be criminals. There is another bill that's before this, that will be before this committee at some point in time, where my grandchildren will be put in jeopardy. And I'm telling you here, that is not going to happen. So I ask you to carefully. I get to come in here and speak before you often. And oftentimes you look at me and think like, you right wing gun nut kook, we don't believe anything you're saying. But this is common sense. This goes beyond the rhetoric. This is the actual protection of lives with passive protection, not with the use of a gun. 
So I ask you, as you consider these pieces of legislation, that you would be cautious about thinking about the impacts. Do you know that this legislation, or legislation as it was before, and the other bill, would actually prevent all motorcycle, we all see motorcycle guys, I'll wrap it up right now, sir. Motorcycle people with all of the body, it's called body armor, why? Because it has all of the equipment, materials that is included in this, speed skaters, athletes, race car drivers, their equipment has all of this stuff, it's all body armor and it's all designed to prevent blunt force trauma, the equivalent of a bullet shot. So I, I'm, I'm here asking you to, to carefully consider these issues as you move along. And if you're gonna err, err on the side of the law abiding and those who wanna protect their families and their own lives. So thank you very much, I appreciate your time. Now some of you out there might be thinking, well body armor isn't a firearm, Ben. Why is GOA and GOC fighting against these bills? Most people understand that the Second Amendment covers firearms, but what it really protects is arms. Yes, that includes firearms, batons, tasers, and even body armor. While firearms and necessary accessories are easily assumed to be protected under the Constitution, arms, or armaments, are the weapons or equipment used to fight and protect oneself in conflict. Under the Second Amendment, as the Supreme Court decided in DC versus Heller, the Second Amendment extends prima facie to all instruments that constitute bearable arms, even those that were not in existence at the time of the founding. This means the equipment that make armed civilians effective in their duty to protect their families and their country are protected. Standard capacity magazines, pistol braces, green tip 556 rounds are all battles that we have fought for in the past under our mission to protect and restore the Second Amendment. These accessories, although not strictly firearms, are clearly covered under the protection of our right to keep and bear arms. Okay. So what exactly is body armor? Body armor covers a variety of different protective materials against a variety of different threats. The two most common types of body armor are hard plates and soft panel armor. Hard plates are typically made up of a composite ceramic material or ultra high molecular weight polyethylene. Soft body armor is typically made up of a fabric like material called Kevlar. These pieces of armor can prevent a user from taking a bullet making them life-saving equipment. They make an individual more up to the standard of a modern day Minuteman able to quickly mobilize and respond to any threat to our freedom, just like the Founding Fathers did. The Second Amendment and the culture surrounding it have been evolving for the past decades. People are moving away from double-barreled shotguns for home defense and towards AR-15s. Sorry, Joe. You don't need an AR-15. It's harder to aim, it's harder to use, and in fact, you don't need 30 rounds to protect yourself. Buy a shotgun. More and more ordinary people are getting training and moving towards actual militia tactics. This includes learning about first aid and wearing equipment meant to improve their effectiveness. Body armor is an area where there's been a huge increase in popularity over the past decade. As both the market has evolved to cater more towards its civilian consumers, as well as the demand for body armor has exploded. We here at GOA believe that protecting body armor is necessary in order to maintain the natural right to self-defense and the right to keep and bear arms. Our no compromise position is to oppose any and all restrictions on the sale or possession of body armor and to further encourage that every American feel that they can use body armor. That's all for today, friends. I'll see you next time.